Oh darling, thank you for asking how was my day. Haven't done much. Went to London by public transport, of course. Met with some friends, had some fellowship, went to museum, grabbed coffee, and then got sandwich on my way back, and then got back. Oh yeah, like happens to almost everyone now. Along the side, it's like now our daily life, women get raped in London. Yes, London, capital city of England. It's a city now where women get raped or sexually assaulted. Very common, like everyday thing. Oh, today I talked with my friend on the phone. Oh, I got raped today. Oh, I went to MNS to buy sandwich. Oh, I got raped today. That's Britain. On a serious note, seriously, seriously, did you see the report BBC put up? Rape reported every hour in London. Great Britain, capital city of England now, is known as a city of rape now. Every hour, every 60 minutes, someone calls med and then reports that they have been raped. More than 8,800 rape incidents were reported to med in 2023, an average of 24 a day, in six, every 60 minutes. Someone in London is getting in touch with MED and then expressing that they have been raped. Shocking. That's just like, well, I shouldn't be shocked since the demography of London is changing. Charities have called the findings horrifying, but say the true extent of sexual offending will be far higher. Close to 20,000 reported sexual crimes in London last year. Just within one year, 20,000 people got in touch with MED and then expressed that or reported that they were sexually abused. 20,000 people. So 8,852 of them rape cases. 10,991 of them other sexual violence. Almost a quarter of all reported crimes from people aged under 18. You know how young 18 is? Under 18 calls, the, calls met and then express there is a sexual crime practiced against them. That's just sad. What's happening? Something happened in 2018 to 2023. Number of sexual assault, number of rape has been increased 14%. Every 26 minutes, someone is just grabbing their earphone and then calling Matt and then saying, oh, I just been sexually abused. I just been raped. Every 26 minutes, every 26 minutes, man, that's just wrong. That's just not acceptable. Sexual offense reports on London transport up 10%. The public transport we take to go from one place to other place is now become hub for sexual offense. Men who are inappropriately touching you, men who are doing inappropriate things, 10% up. You can't even feel safe in public transport. Where are these stopped oil people? I am sure they want to do something about the public transport right now. Hear this very sad testimony of Amy. After she's been attacked, she handed the police a phone with the evidence and then said to Matt to return it after six months. I find out that they didn't take any of the evidence from the phone. So they called me again to ask for my phone back to get that evidence. But my phone broke so effectively from that moment on. I knew that the case was going to be dropped because literally all of the evidence was gone. That moment was a terrible moment in time and put me into absolute paralysis. But it was the police that put me on suicide watch. Victims already feel that everything is the victim's fault. But the police will definitely ensure that you feel that way. So think about it. You've been raped or you've been sexually assaulted. You get in touch with the police and then you say, Mr. Policeman, he's the evidence. He's the evidence. They take your phone. 
they keep your phone they sit on it time goes on time goes on okay you can have your fam phone back and then what happens oh amy can you be kind enough and then give us your phone back because we didn't do anything we need we want to see those evidence now you sat on the evidence for six months haven't done anything and now you are hunting for evidence great thank you for confirming police is not to protect my rights police is not there to help me at all very very disturbing shame on them that simply shows to me how police comes alongside of the rapist how police comes alongside of the criminals instead of upholding the right of the victims stupid mad one in four victims reported of sexual crimes were under 18 last year they haven't even started university yet but they've been sexually assaulted or they've been raped wow this is not heading heading on the good way one in six women report the rape one in four will report the other type of sexual assault see five out of six doesn't even report the rape three out of four don't even report the other sexual assaults because p victims know that police doesn't do anything because victims know that nothing comes out of it rapists and criminals still walk on on our streets we witness the same thing islamic rape gangs did the same thing police turned blind eye social service turned blind eye government turned blind eye and they simply sacrificed the girls around england now women are being sacrificed in london why because stupid mad doesn't want to do anything only the only thing they do is come alongside of the criminals in the year ending in march 2022 almost 800,000 females aged 16 and over reported that they were raped or sexually assaulted every year in the uk that's about one in 30. more than 4,300 children reported being a victim of rape or sexual assault to the Met in 2023. Sexual abuse about every two hours. This is very surprising information that BBC put on their article. Shows how people cannot trust the police. Within the police forces, within Met forces, we've got police officers who were actively involved with rape, actively involved with sexual abuse. Very police. The one we pay for them to uphold the law for us. Those very police officers were involved with rape and were involved with sexual assault. So how can people turn up to police and then ask police for help? Clearly, police is not there to help. But what happened? 14% of increase for rape in, in London. Not even in Britain, in London, in the capital of England. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. No one needs to be Einstein to figure that out. Men who are coming from Muslim majority countries bringing to England with their Islamic religion. As they are coming with low IQ and high testosterone that is leading to rape in London and other parts of the country as well. They are single men. They are coming to the nation that is identified in their eyes as kafir what do you think those muslim men are going to do making woman the call met in every hour to report rape low iq low iq and high testosterone muslim men are causing this no one needs to be einstein on that of course we cannot talk about it why because islam is so untouchable we just need to ignore it oh don't talk about it oh it's just only our woman hm. only woman it's only like how many Eight thousand eight hundred women is being raped who cares government doesn't care police doesn't care illegal immigrants they do not care because it is in their ideology it is in their ideology so what does it tell us 
Women are not safe. Your daughters are not safe. Your wife is not safe. Your sisters are not safe. Government and police is not there to protect them. You need to look out for them. You need to do your duty to make sure you protect your children, your wife and your sisters. Lord have mercy like someone is called. This is just so outrageous. Someone is calling mad. Someone is calling police every hour, every hour, every 60 minutes to say, to report that they have been raped. And we just heard the testimonies. What does police do? Nothing. Disgraceful. This is disgraceful. Lord God have mercy on us.